As these mandates go into effect, we are seeing some pretty grim numbers for businesses and the food scene in our area. Yeah, pretty incredible. According to Yelp, as of July 10th, more than 750 businesses permanently closed. Over 150 of those were restaurants in the Portland, Vancouver and Hillsboro area. Fox 12's Drew Marine spoke with a restaurant owner about those numbers and about another their difficult decision to close their doors as well. Drew? Yeah, those owners tell me it's been tough to watch restaurants close because of the pandemic. And they say once winter hits, they expect the closures to be even more dramatic. I looked at the numbers hard and I was like, we're, we're going to be losing $10,000 a month, even the best we could do. Nick Zukin owned Mimero Mole for nine years, but says he had to shut its doors just a few weeks ago because of the pandemic. Zukin says the hardest part of closing was having to let his longtime employees go. Um, most of our employees had been there five years or more. Um, and so really the hardest part was feeling like you let them down. According to a new economic report by Yelp, his restaurant was just one of the 169 restaurants that closed because of the pandemic in the Portland, Hillsboro and Vancouver area. It's a lot bigger. Um, a lot bigger come you know this this winter is going to be really rough because you're not going to have any outdoor seating um, it's a slow time anyway restaurant owner Kurt Huffman owns several restaurants in Portland including Lardo and agrees saying he thinks the number of closures will quadruple in the winter it's going to be a lot of um, closures uh, that are elective that we're going to choose to do because we just don't believe we can survive the winner in the absence of a vaccine. Huffman says it's just a matter of time before he decides to close some of his own restaurants to stay afloat. We would rather close down, save the money that we're able to borrow in emergency lending from the government and wait until there's a vaccine than to just beat our head against the wall, losing money every month and then just run out. We'd rather live to fight another day than to just kind of, you know, die on our sword. Yelp says as of just two weeks ago, nearly 16,000 restaurants on its site went out of business. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Drew Marine, Fox 12, Oregon.